Hello, my name is Samuel Keith Harris, and welcome back to another episode of Morning Devotionals. Let's start our day with Jesus. Father, I thank you that we can come into your presence, Lord, and worship you and read your word. May we be changed by it. May we bear the fruits of the Holy Spirit as we're joined to you, Jesus. It's in your precious and holy name we pray, and everybody said, Amen. Well, if you have your Bible, turn to Psalm chapter 111. Psalm chapter 111. I'm excited to get into this portion of scripture with you. Psalm 111, and we'll start at verse 1. The scripture says, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord for his goodness, how he's saved us, how he's transformed us, how we're his children now, how we don't have to live under the power of sin anymore, but we can triumph over it. It says, Praise the Lord. I will thank the Lord with all my heart as I meet with his godly people. I like that. I will thank the Lord with all my heart as I meet with his godly people. When you come together with other believers to lift up the name of Jesus, when I, it's saying when I come around those other believers and we're coming to worship the Lord, I'm going to thank the Lord with all my heart. And it is wonderful to worship Jesus with other people who love Jesus also. So when we meet together with all of God's people, let's, let's bring God a sacrifice of praise out of our hearts. Verse 2, it says, How amazing are the deeds of the Lord! All who delight in Him should ponder them. So the deeds of the Lord are amazing. The miracles he works, the healings he works, the salvations he works, how he transforms people from sinner to saint, from lost to found. It's amazing to see the miracles that the Lord does, how he heals bodies and uh, heals tormented minds. He is truly is a wonderful savior and a wonderful God. The scripture says that we should ponder them. All who delight in the Lord should ponder the works that he does think on them, meditate on them, and glorify his name for them. Verse 3 says, Everything he does reveals his glory and majesty. His righteousness never fails. So the Lord is actively working to reveal his glory, to reveal his majesty. And the scripture says the skies display his craftsmanship. Everything the Lord has made is beautiful, and we should praise him for, for everything he has made and all the glorious acts that he does. So the scripture says, He causes us to remember his wonderful works. How gracious and merciful is our Lord. The Lord causes us to remember his wonderful works. Do you remember how he saved you? Do you remember how he saved the people around you that you were praying for to be saved from their sins? It, it truly is amazing. And in times where we may forget or we may be dulled towards what the Lord has done in the past, the scripture says that he will cause us to remember his wonderful works and his wonderful deeds. Hallelujah. And it says, how gracious and merciful is our Lord. Verse five, he gives food to those who fear him. He always remembers his covenant. So the Lord will always provide for his children financially, if they need food, if they need work, things like that. The scripture says he gives food to those who fear him. It says he always remembers his covenant. So you can have a covenant with God that when you come into relationship with him that he will provide for you as long as you put your hand to the plow and you work. Verse six, he has shown his great power to his people by giving them the lands of other nations, which that is symbolic of we win people to Christ. And that shows his great power to his people when we see other people who were living for the devil, living of this world under the power of the God of this world, brought out of that lifestyle and into a righteous lifestyle under God's kingdom. He has shown his great power to his people by giving them the lands of other nations. Verse 7, all he does is just and good. All the Lord does is just and it's good. It says, and all his commandments are trustworthy. You can trust his commandments, that they actually work out for your benefit. For you to obey the Lord's commands, you might think it's a burden. They're not burdensome, the scripture says in 1 John chapter 5, if you've truly been born again. And it says that they're trustworthy. He's actually giving you those commands because they're going to make your life better also. And it says, they are forever true. 
to be obeyed faithfully and with integrity. You're to obey the commands of the Lord faithfully, continually obey them day in, day out, and also with integrity, in sincerity of heart. When nobody's watching you, you obey the commands of God in your heart and just alone in your home. That is integrity in obeying the commands of the Lord Jesus. It says he has paid a full ransom for his people. He has guaranteed his covenant with them forever. What a holy, awe-inspiring name he has. Verse 10, fear of the Lord is the foundation of true wisdom. All who obey his commandments will grow in wisdom. So if you want to even begin to grow in wisdom, the fear of the Lord is the foundation of wisdom. So fear the Lord and you'll grow in wisdom. And the scripture also talks about all who obey his commandments will grow in wisdom. So I, I don't know about you, but I want to grow in wisdom. And I think we, we, well, we definitely should want to, but God wants to grow us also. So let's obey his commandments faithfully and thereby grow in wisdom. But the root of that is the fear of the Lord, understanding who God is, who we are. He's holy, we're his, we're his creation, and we're accountable to him. And so let's live our lives in holiness, in purity, as he's empowered us to do so in his sight, because he clearly sees everything we do. And then it says, praise him forever. So Father, I pray over everybody that we would grow in you, that we would desire to obey your commandments. And as we obey your commandments, Father, you'll cause us to grow. I pray that we would have a proper fear of the Lord and give you the reverence that's due your name, Lord Jesus. You're precious and you're holy and you deserve our attention, our affection, and our devotion. So I pray in the name of Jesus that people would display your glory and live in you today, Jesus, and shine as bright lights in a crooked and perverse generation. It's in Jesus' name I pray and everybody said, Amen. Well, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Morning Devotionals, and I'll see you next time.